CBS Colorado's reporting sparking a city investigation into the practices of the Denver Fire Department's leadership. Good evening, I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer. Our ongoing investigation into the use of comp time by top fire department administrators now shows how multiple DFD command officers traveled across the country to honor one of their fallen colleagues and then all build comp time for what they did. CBS News Colorado investigator Brian Moss broke this story earlier this week and joins us now live in studio. So it wasn't just the fire chief that was doing this, Brian. No, the practice appears to be pretty widespread through the fire department's executive staff. An example is what happened in the death of firefighter Jeff Billingsley. Billingsley was a Denver Fire Department technician who died on duty in 2021. The 42-year-old had been with the Denver Fire Department more than 20 years when his heart gave out. The day he died, Fire Chief Desmond Fulton billed for seven and a half hours of comp time starting at 2.30 in the afternoon, noting it was for LODD Logistics, line of duty death, apparently for helping plan for Billingsley's funeral. The planning took place outside of Fulton's regular work schedule. In 2022, Billingsley's name was etched into the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial in Maryland. To honor him, Chief Fulton Deputy Chief Kathleen Vredenberg and Division Chief Alex Paez all traveled to the weekend memorial accompanied by Denver Manager of Safety Armando Soldate. The city paid everyone's travel expenses. But when the weekend was over, Chief Fulton billed for 19 hours of comp time for attending the event. Vredenberg and Paez both billed for 30 hours of comp time for the memorial. All of them usually have weekends off. That's not right. This Denver firefighter who asked not to be identified said billing for comp time for honoring fallen firefighters is simply wrong. We don't do it for our money. We do it because we respect the sacrifice that those firefighters have made. They gave their life to save the community. He said for top department commanders making around $200,000 and up, they should view memorials like this as part of their jobs, not opportunities to accrue comp time. Saldate, the manager of safety, said he billed nothing, viewing this solemn ceremony as part of his job. Fulton, Breedenberg, and Paez have not responded to our questions about billing comp time for this trip. But records we obtained show billing for comp time for events like this has been routine for Fulton and his command staff for the last three years. By amassing banks of comp time and using it for vacations, top fire department commanders have been able to cash in large amounts of unused vacation time at the end of each year. In a statement Wednesday, Fulton said he was following what I believe were best practices and said billing for comp time is a long-standing practice that fire chiefs have used for many years. Chief Fulton said he too supports an investigation looking into this practice. Due to our investigation, the practice with comp time has been stopped by the manager of safety, who says a full investigation will also be conducted. And a fire department spokesman said late this afternoon that there will be no comment on this trip to Maryland and that event in honor of technician Billingsley due to the pending investigation. Well, Brian, we know that you talked to a lot of Denver firefighters. So what bothers them the most about how the department's chief and the commanders were earning comp time here? Honestly, they're bothered by all of this. Hmm. They don't think it's right that their fire chief and these top commanders are billing for comp time for things that the firefighters say are part of their job. Mm -hmm. Going to community events, going to retirement parties, going to events like that, they say that's part of their job. But what they're particularly aghast at is this idea of billing for going to firefighter memorials. They feel like that's very dishonorable and that's really bothersome to the firefighters because they feel like that really tarnishes the entire department. Yeah, great reporting as always, and we know you'll stay on top of what happens next in Everyone. this situation, Brian. Thank you.